Our scene on phenylketonuria is going to be represented by this homeless person over here, and she has a few objects. For example, one of them is this globe with a cat that likes popping his head out of phoenix. The cat likes ha popping his head out of phoenix, and she names this cat the phoenix cat. The phoenix cat is going to remind us of phenylketonuria. Okay, so we're going to learn about the signs and symptoms of phenylketonuria in this scene. So let's take a look. So the first thing we know is this homeless person. She's holding this poster over here. She thinks it says, hungry, please give me food. But it actually says phenylalanine is translated to tyrosine. That's normally what happens. Phenylalanine is converted to tyrosine in the body. And this is done by the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase with the cofactor BH4. Phenylketonuria is defined by the defect in phenylalanine hydroxylase or in BH4, and thus phenylalanine cannot be translated to tyrosine, and thus tyrosine becomes essential. But since the body cannot produce it, that's why we have this car over here without the tires, because in phenylketonuria, tyrosine cannot be made. Since phenylalanine cannot be translated into tyrosine, they're going to be phenylketones in the urine, and that's why she has this key on the floor. That was remember the ketones in the urine, the phenylacetate, phenylactate, and phenylpyruvate. The phenyl ketones. What are the findings of phenylketonuria? We well, might have noticed that there's this mouse on top of her head. This helps us remember the mousy body odor associated with phenylketonuria. As we mentioned, she thought that this post over here was a please give me food sign. She's not very smart. Intellectual disability is another finding in phenylketonuria. You also might have noticed that she's kind of short. Growth retardation is another finding. She has fair complexion, as fair complexion is another sign, as well as eczema. And additionally, you'll find on top of the car over here, a Caesar crown. Caesar crown comes up in our scenes involved seizures, because seizures is another finding of fetal catenuria. There's a piece of rhesus chocolate on top of the crown over here. Rhesus comes up in our diseases that are autosomal recessive. Fetal catenuria is inherited in autosomal recessive fashion. You might have noticed that the globe here was on top of a packet of sweet and low. That's because people with fetal catenuria must avoid the artificial sweetener aspartame, which is found in things like sweet and low, because it t contains phenylalanine. And since they can't break down phenylalanine and the accumulation is not good for them, it's important for them to avoid sweet and low and other such products. Finally, just to make a mention of treatment of phenylketonuria, that's just basically a decrease of phenylalanine and an increase in tyrosine in the diet. And if the defect is in BH4, that should be given as a supplement. I want to make a final point that screening for phenylketonuria occurs two to three days after birth. This is because the levels are normal at birth because of the maternal enzyme during fetal life. Okay, thank you so much for watching the scene on phenylketonuria. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, be in touch. Alrighty, take care.